Hi guys, Vod here. So I got a nice little special here for you today. I dropped two juggernauts with the M1, trying to get it diamond with all the classics and gold and all that such not, you know, all that fun stuff to get that black sky and solar. But um, I also have a nice little bonus clip at the end. Um, as you well know, two new guns have arrived, the trench gun and then the mini gun which are very fun. And I got some gameplay of that that I'm going to be dropping probably tomorrow if I get the chance because I have to work tomorrow. If I do get the chance, I will drop the videos. Um, but until then, it's undecided. I'm hoping to get it up tomorrow, but if not, you can expect it the next day. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to scope out the whole map. You got to make sure when to push, when not to push. But um, the M1 is a beautiful weapon. What I'm running on it right now is a suppressor, quick draw, foregrip, and extended mags, which is a must have for this gun in my feeling because you only get eight rounds in the clip with default, which I feel is not enough because I always felt myself running out of ammo and not being able to reload fast enough because of you have to exhaust all the ammo in the M1 to get it to reload. So you will see me shoot a couple of times here and there when I have like maybe four, or two or one or so many rounds in it, just because I prefer to have a full clip of 12. Now, this map is a beautiful map for getting juggernauts because of how big it is. The spawn systems are very um, select. There's no usually random people spawning behind you. You know that annoyance. And um, but yeah. Very beautiful map for jugs. I've dropped so far, I think, four on this map. Um, one with the wrecked, two with the M1, and another with the wrecked again. And I gotta say, I love this gun. It's probably gonna be one of my most favorite ones uh, to get gold. And as you could, if you didn't hear, there was a guy who shot a bullet at me, and that was him. I heard it with my uh, A40s. <laughs> Definitely a good thing to have in this game. It is a great, decent headset so you could hear things from far away. But yeah. Um, I honestly was not trying to go for Jug this game. I was just trying to go for kills. And it just ended up happening. I mean, sometimes the best shit happens when you're just not even trying to do anything. But uh, yeah. Just shit happens. <laughs> but uh yeah um this was a really good gameplay i gotta say um i had some people really trying hard to kill me in this especially um an mp13 he was going hard for it um you'll see in a bit but uh yeah um right around here this is where i got my jug right after that kill i kill this guy and his buddy and there's the juggernaut and I still end up going off pretty hard I ended up breaking my record for how many kills I have for without dying pretty sure it was 48 or 45 I'm pretty sure without dying but it was nice it was a good run definitely recommend trying this gun out with um, extended mags um, and quick draw with foregrip yeah, and um, I was just running uh, Ghost with Scavenger and Dead Silence, and those were the only perks I was using. And I had UAV, Warden, and Advanced UAV, and I just Prestige too after this, after I got this clip. That's why usually I would run a counter UAV, but um, and this kill, that kill right there was a lucky fucking shot, I gotta say. Um, but yeah, uh, just Prestige in this one. Um, getting close to prestiging again. I'll be MP16, which would be nice. I'm 15 right now. Um, but, yeah, I ended up going on Neon after this, and I was going to try and actually do the same exact thing that I did on that, and it ended up working out real well. So, see that later on. And a good thing about this gun is that it's good up until about maybe I want to say 30 meters and then I think around 40 it starts to kick off where it'll 
not have that much um, damage. Like right here, um, I ended up killing somebody earlier on, and it took th me three shots to kill him. And he was over by the plants, and I was that far away. And... But yeah, it is definitely a good gun in close range and mid range, as long as you know how to use it in the close and mid range. And choose your shots very carefully. Like here, for example, I'm not spamming the trigger, I'm not rapidly firing it, I'm just slowly taking my shots as fast as I can without trying to get killed. But yeah, it's definitely a worthwhile gun to get when you prestige and get that uh, prestige token to unlock a classic. So, we ended up going in here a little bit too hot, had to back off, there's two more of them, or three more of them actually over there. And right now I'm just trying to guard my teammates, let them push over there and not get flanked by the enemies coming in from over here. Always good to keep your eye out on the map to make sure that nobody flanks your teammates, nobody can take them out because less deaths for your teammates means more kills for your teammates to win. Because less are dying, like that the more you're winning. Um, that was the end of that. But here we go a little bit further. I wasn't able to get the full amount like I did in that one with this one because uh, my gaming uh, recorder was full and I couldn't really get the full amount. But we do still have some of the gameplay here. And what I'm doing here is a nice little trick to wait somebody out and also to kind of gather yourself. And can find yourself doing that anywhere really you if you have the right amount of uh, momentum and uh, boost for jump you can sway side to side and it's a good way to kind of wait out somebody that knows where you are and it's also really good for um, trying to hold down a location and uh, domination say there's a lot of people pushing you go up somewhere real high and just circle around a couple of times. It works really well with Snaptic because of the boost with propulsion. Another good way to do that. But this map, I, I really love this map that they brought in. It's a really nice, diverse map. There's not too much um, big areas, there's small areas, there's close quarters areas, including the club, and then there's this long area for long range encounters. And it's a very nice map all around. You don't really find most people camping on this map except for in like the middle in the police station which I'm pretty sure everybody can agree that it's a very annoying spot for people to go in. But as you can see we're on our brutal now. We're getting up, we're streaking a little bit more after we dropped all of our other stuff. Advance is still going. Another thing about Advanced, I unlocked the Epic version. I recommend, completely recommend you to get the Epic version of the Advance. It is just like the one in BO3, and it is beautiful. You know exactly where they are. They never are going to turn somewhere where you're not looking because it always shows their movements. Yes, it does go away a little bit shorter, but you're able to go and get in there a lot faster because you know where they're looking. If you know where they're looking, it'll make it a lot simpler for you to get that that kill. Every little bit counts. But as you can see, we got the jug. We're going out, kind of branching out a ways. Saw that guy saw me. Like I said, use, use the map to your advantage. Kind of pushed up a little bit too much here. We ended up getting smacked, but that's not that much important because I mean we finish out strong in this one I keep going off we're gonna win the game all we need is one more kill and that's game now this here is the crown jewel my achievement I gotta say this gameplay phew, I've been grinding it out ever since I got this today so I was going off all day trying to get this D at. It was not easy. There was always maybe somebody hiding in a corner trying to kill me. You know, some of that stupid shit. But what are you going to do? <laughs> you always got to just keep trying and trying and trying until you get it. But this was a beautiful, beautiful D at. 
and for example as you can see I'm using the advanced epic UAV you can see their movements exactly where they are they don't move they don't go anywhere but where they're looking and where they're moving which is beautiful and right here I have seven rounds left and I got that kill now I need one more and at this point once you have that one kill or if you're at that five kill don't push whatever you do don't push unless you know where the enemy is and you can kill them like right there I got lucky I got very lucky that guy could have killed me but yep that didn't happen now all I could say is that I want to do an instant repeat on this just cause how almost lucky this guy was to almost kill me is just ridiculous. He almost got me. So, I'd say when you're going for d my advice is defense with a good offense. Like right there, that was a little bit too much of a push, but I did get the kill, but it was risky. So, I'm just going to keep on going off until this nuke drops, and... I want to thank you guys for watching, thanks for subbing, thanks for liking, thanks for the comments, every little bit helps, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, please sub, like, comment, tell me what you thought about the video, have a great day, bye.